like what's good y'all thanks for stopping by for today's video as promised i'm gonna knock out this q a video the about time you're seeing this which i will be releasing this on sunday september 26th that will be my birthday so happy birthday to your boy thanks for stopping by and i want to say first off before we get into these questions thank you for all the support thanks for stopping by liking all the youtube videos dropping the comments thanks for stopping by the stream chilling in chat hanging out with me i appreciate you all i love you all and i couldn't do this without you so thank you and let's get into these questions man. all right first question how are you doing pretty good i cannot complain um as i said earlier birthday's coming up so you know i'm gonna be 28 years old Oof, old man 10 to 30 and i feel it every day i get up but for real I'm good, man. Everything's been going good. Things been going good, man. Got a few things I'm working on as far as like the YouTube and streaming things that I'm trying to get to rolling soon. So stay tuned. Now this next question, I originally wasn't gonna put it in the video because it really wasn't a real question, it was more of a joke. But somebody asked me, why does every word in my tweet, which I'll put up here, start with a capital? It just catches your eye. You know what I'm saying? If you're scrolling on Twitter down the wormhole and all that, if you see something with every word begins with a capital, it's gonna catch your eye. And that's why you ask that question. Marketing. Alright, third and fourth question. They're kind of the same, so I'm kind of mixing them together to give you one big answer. So what got me into streaming and why Twitch and also what set me on this journey? Kind of the same thing. So uh, when I was a baby. I was already really into gaming. I have a picture of me in a diaper playing video games. One day I'll let y'all see that. I'm not gonna let that be known or seen right now. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so for as long as I've been gaming, that seems to always been a launch pad for my social life. You know what I'm saying? With my friends, um, even sometimes with family. You know, a lot of us are into gaming, but I'm pretty sure I'm the most like hardcore gamer in my family. But um, that was always the way, socially, my face would start with conversations with people, things of that nature, we talking about gaming, whether it was talking, oh, your favorite gaming character, or your favorite system, or things like that, and that's how I was able to branch out to others, you know what I'm saying, because I wasn't really a loud, outgoing kid when I was growing up, anything like that, so, you know, that was kind of like my way to express myself was through video games. So fast forward to 2013, I believe is when the PlayStation 4 came out. That's when I discovered Twitch, but I recently found out that Twitch was around about two years before that, but I had no idea what it was at the time. But the PlayStation 4 controller had a share button, which you can do either YouTube, Twitch, and I believe the third one was Mixer. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it used to be two streaming options on there, and then they ended up taking one away, and it was on Twitch and YouTube. So... Originally, I wanted to try to get into streaming, but I really didn't know what I needed to get into it at the, that point in time. Um, the microphones that I had at that point in time were trash. Um, I didn't like have cameras or anything like that until later on in the PS4 life cycle. And then eventually, me being into gaming as much as I was, and I thought to myself, you know what, I can go ahead and make something out of this and connect with other people that enjoy video games and things of that nature. So one day i was like you know what i'm gonna get into this i'm jumping into it and see how it goes and obviously i really enjoy it and i still enjoy it to this day just kind of like how i felt when i first started it man and it's really something i look forward to doing whenever i do it man i try to do it every day but sometimes i can't with work and things of that nature but man i really do enjoy streaming man. it's really fun and hopefully this isn't nowhere near the peak of where i can be i want to get bigger and Continue to grow and grow with others that I've been doing this platform and stuff, man. But man, streaming is really, really, really what I enjoy doing. So I really like it. I really enjoy it. And again, gotta keep saying it, man. But thank you all for helping me in this journey and being here with me, man. But without y'all, I couldn't do it. So I really do appreciate that, man. So that's so far been my journey of how I got here and pretty much why Twitch. Originally, that was the only thing that I knew or had access to at that point in time doing straight from PlayStation at first. But now I do it from PC and I have other ways you can do it on YouTube now, things of that nature. But I really like Twitch, you know what I'm saying? Even though there's a lot of 
out of control people on Twitter, but the community itself is still really good, man. I met a lot of friends that I have lifelong relationship with out of this due to Twitch. So that's why I really like Twitch, man. And um, again, thank you all. So question five and six, we're going to put these together too, because they're being asked by the same person, so I'm kind of giving them one little block in the video. Um, so what is your goal? And am I giving it my all? My goal, and I'll be all, I'm going to be partnering. If I can be partnering on Twitch, man, that'll be absolutely amazing. If I can hit a point where I can game and do a YouTube video that's a full-time thing, but I have to work a regular nine-to-five job, that would be amazing, man. But creating content is fun, man. It's hilarious. Sometimes it can be frustrating, I know, but it's worth it in the end. You know what I'm saying? When you get to interact with people and meet new people and you get to connect on a level that's something that you really enjoy on something that's as fun as gaming is, it's really enjoyable, man. And even my convention I have for me, my wife says, man, we play games together all the time. It's fucking fun. I love it. It's not something that I look at that could be stressful or taxing or anything like that. I just enjoy it. So making content out of gaming is, man, it's, it's a blessing. I will say it's definitely a blessing. And I'm thankful all the people that come before me to make it even possible that they have a chance to even do this. So, man, if I can get partnered one day, that'll be fucking amazing. I don't even know what I would do if I did get partnered. Like, I would probably cry. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how passionate I am about it. And I'm going to give it my all. I would say, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I need to come down with a more common, I guess, word to say, schedule. But other than that, man, I'm trying to find new ways to get more expansive with my content and more engaging with everybody, which is kind of why I'm doing this community video right now. So I'm giving it my all. I'm trying to come up with new ideas and new things that people will enjoy and that I also enjoy doing. So, man, it's a journey and it's going to be a road to go through, but we're going to make it, y'all. We're going to make it. All right, this next question, man. Top three all-time games? That's a tough question, man. Real tough. I got to think hard on this one. I'm not going to lie. I've played so many games and I have different memories with each one. So it's like trying to just pick three. Ooh, that's tough, man. Um, but to me, my top would have to be something that I can put in and just play it non-stop, no problem. Like it's the first time I played it all over again. Something I can play over and over and over and never get tired of it. So we're not gonna put a specific order on it. Like, you know, so I'm gonna say one of them would have to be the recent Spider-Man game from uh, Insomniac. That joint, I played it so many times. You get, I played it too many times to count at this point um, to a point where it got kind of annoying to my wife that I played that game so much, but man, it's been a long time since we had a good Spider-Man game. Probably since Spider-Man 2 on PlayStation. Like, man, yo, that game's amazing. I love that fucking game. I played that game so many times. Goodness, and I still enjoy it. I might have to download it and play it again. I've streamed that game so many times too, so I'm pretty sure people might be tired of it. But man, I can't get enough of that game. I love that game. After digging through the library in my head, um, the second one I'm going to go with is Quake. Um, the first time I played Quake was with my father sometime in the 90s, man. I don't fucking remember when it was. But he had this old fucking compact laptop. I'm going to put a picture of it here so you can see it. I have no idea how it worked on that damn thing because it looked so, so crazy. Looking back on it now, I just looked it up. I don't even know how the game played on that thing, but um, that was how I originally played it with him. Eventually, we had the 64, Nintendo 64, and uh, we had one there also, and me and we used to just play it all the time together favorite memories of coming up as a child so that's definitely has to be over nostalgia alone has to be in my top three and they just recently remastered it and i bought it and i've been playing it on stream too if you follow me you've seen it so yeah man that's definitely one that's in my top three so after 
a lot of thought and consideration. I'm going to have to make a video on maybe my top 20 games, maybe more than that, who knows, because man, this, this question is a thinker, man, and I thought of so many games, but I feel like it has to be in my top, because that's what really got me into the series itself, so I'm going to say Assassin's Creed 2, I played that game like crazy, I basically platinumed it twice, but I got it on the PS3 when it first came out, and then they did a remaster for the PS4, and I get bought it again, and I played that, that's another game that I played dozens and dozens of times and that's what really got me into Assassin's Creed and that was kind of like my peak time between 2 and Revelations that was when I was a huge Assassin's Creed fan which ended up making me get this tattoo on my arm here but that game man was a blast to play and SEO is my favorite Assassin's Creed character so man that's my top 3 but man I feel like I'm leaving out so many you got games like Hidden Rain Mario 64, um, WF No Mercy. There's so many more games that I could put in the list and I could switch about for a top three at any point. But man, that's a great question, though. Man. So I'm going to revisit that in the video later on. So stay tuned for that. Okay, question 89. Got something to do with food, so we're going to put those together as well. Food, man. I'm rocking with the food, but, um, my favorite drink, man. I don't know if this sounds kiddy to say, but my favorite drink is fucking Sunny D, bro. I love me some Sunny Delight. The blue one. The smooth one. I like the original orange label one, but that blue label, though. Mm. Mm -hmm. Go down so smooth, especially when it's ice cold. Oh, my God. I could drink that with anything and just be in heaven. Love me some Sunny D. Now, I don't know when you ask me my favorite drink if we were talking about anything else, but I don't drink, by the way. Let me throw that out there. But, man, just regular go-to everyday drinks. I need to like. Had some earlier. I would drink it right now, but it's already gone, so I can't do that. And then my favorite candy, my go-to candy. Now, I could drop that in two different ways. Either we could talk about a candy bar or, like, maybe, like, a... Uh, like candy candy, like Jolly Rancher type candy. Um, my go-to though, for like candy candy, I'm guessing the candy I guess, would be uh, sour gummy worms. That's kind of my go-to candy. Anything sour, it's kind of a go-to, so I can say sour gummy worms today and then tomorrow is sour gummy bears, but really sour candy. So I guess you could say anything sour is my go-to candy, but if I had to just pick one, it would be sour uh, gummy worms. And then if we're talking about like candy bars, it would be either a Snickers or a Payday. Um, if I had to pick one of those, I'd probably go with the Snickers because I've been eating that a lot longer. Fun story, fun fact by the way, when I was younger, uh, I was told that whenever I would eat a Snickers, I was like, I guess like maybe between, I don't know, three, four, two to four, something like that, I don't know, I can't remember exactly what it was, but when I would eat a Snickers, I would find someone and spit the peanuts back out, and I would just eat like the nougat, the chocolate and all that, but not the peanut part, I don't know why I did it, but now I just enjoy the whole goddamn Snickers, who would spit out the peanuts of a Snicker, man, it's a weird child I was. So, question number 10, we almost done, y'all. What was the first console slash PC I played on? I'm going to answer both of those. One I already kind of answered earlier with the compact laptop that I was talking about earlier. The first console I played on was a Sega Genesis. And the first game I played on that, by the way, was Vector Man. And I instantly hate the fact that I didn't figure that earlier with my top three because that should be in my top three. I played that game like crazy. I had it on the PC. I had it on the original Sega Genesis. I bought a Sega Genesis Mini just because Vector Man was on it and Vector Man 2, I believe. Just to play those two. And I didn't put it in my top three. Which is why I need to make another video of at least my top 20 games just so I can have that on that list. Because I feel bad for leaving that on. Crazy, man. 
question 11. Where did I get my names and my things from? So I'm going to break down all my social names because I'm assuming that's what you mean. And my things will be kind of mixed in with the last thing that I say. So my Twitter is Mal926. My name is Malcolm, obviously. So Mal is what kind of my family started calling me. Sometimes my friends call me that too. Then 926, my birthday, September 26. Um, my Twitch name, Mal Sauce 926. Again, my birthday, Mal, the first three of my name. Now, the Mal Sauce is kind of a double thing. Um, in Chicago, we have this sauce called Mild Sauce, M I L D. So. I guess I was in maybe seventh grade. Um, eventually, for some, I don't, I don't even know who came up with it. Somebody came up with it. One of my friends, and they started start calling me Mal Sauce. Because when we say in a restaurant, oh, I want Mal Sauce on like my food or whatever, we don't say Mal. We don't. The next scene on the D. I don't know if that's like a Chicago thing or something. It has to be, but. Usually you just say, oh, extra mouth sauce. So eventually, it kind of just became my nickname, mouth sauce, when I was like in 7th grade. And uh, it's stuck with me since then, so I just kind of kept that as my name. My YouTube name is Alpha Mal 926 which also goes with my themes of the werewolves and things of that nature. And that comes from this. Teen Wolf. Look at that glare. The glare is out of control, but we can keep it in glare. One of my favorite TV shows, personally, that's probably, man, I think they'll be number one of my favorite TV shows. Uh, I'm not going to consider Dragon Ball a TV show. It's, it's, it's a different situation. But Teen Wolf, man, that's where I get my alpha male from. And that's where I get, like, my wolf emotes and things of that nature. The alpha pack symbol, which I also have a tattoo of right there. It's from that show. One of my favorite shows of all time. So that's where my name and my things come from, y'all. If you didn't know, you know now. Last question. Where do I see myself in five years with streaming and YouTube? Great question. In five years, I'll be, what, 33? Man, that's damn near 40. At that point, I'm not going to lie. But man, in five years, man, I really hope within the next five years, either with Twitch or YouTube, one of them, I'll be able to do full time. Hopefully I've been able to grow a significant fan base and zero in on something that a lot of people like enjoy watching and enjoy watching me play or whatever the case may be, where I can blow up and be partnered with Twitch and streaming or be full time with either or hopefully that's where I'll be in five years I know that's a lot it's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of time and I think if I double down on it which I feel like I am in the process of doing I should be able to do at least one of those things full time I hope in five years and I hope you're all here with me on that journey so there you have it man the dirty dozen questions are over man this Q&A was a little tough to make, a lot of bloopers. If I had a blooper reel on how many times I messed up an answer or went back to redo it because I didn't like how it looked, that would be like three more videos. But, man, I appreciate everybody that asked the questions. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And thank you all again, man. It's been a blast. Uh, this will not be my last Q&A for sure. Um, so if y'all got more questions y'all want to ask me, drop them in one of my medias. Say it to me on stream, wherever. Just let me know. After today's video, which will be posted again on my birthday. Please say happy birthday below, by the way. Show some love for your boy. Anyway, the next video I'm going to put up is going to be a 2K video. Um, I haven't put up a 2K video yet. I've been putting up a lot of Call of Duty, like Fortnite videos. So, I'm going to branch out to a whole another situation. So, I hope you guys stick around. Enjoy the next few succession hopefully um but if you have any more questions like i said this will not be my last youtube video let me know drop them in the comment section below i'll keep them 
Let me know on Twitch. Let me know on Twitter. Let me know on Instagram. Wherever. Y'all know where all my socials is, man. Again, I thank you all so much. I love you. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see y'all next time.